and gentlemen, everybody's favorite Calvin and Hobbes anime-styled characters have officially returned. I'm talking about Ushio and Tora. That's right, they have finally returned for a second season of yokai slaying and lots of hilarious shenanigans. And this episode right here was a great reintroduction to all of the key characters and the main villain of the series, the Hakumen no Mono. This episode right here really doesn't skip any beats in getting right back to the main story, and things have definitely amplified quite a bit because the evil of the Hakumen no Mono is actually causing everyone that Ushio and Tora knows personally to lose their memories, and because of that, they have no knowledge of Ushio, Tora, or even the Beast Spear, not to mention all of the danger that they're in because of the Hakumen no Mono. And what's really cool about this episode is we get to see a lot of our favorite demons returning. We get Hitotsuki, the one big guy with the snake arms. We have Raijin and Kagiri returning, those guys who are those like big giant weasel sickle guys, they're returning, and they're all under the control of Hakumen no Mono. And throughout the course of the episode, most of the drama comes from the fact that Ushio frankly just can't communicate with anyone. All of his friends have completely forgotten him, they have no idea who he is, and because of that, they basically just see him as something of a creep. So that whole love story angle, the, uh, you know, love triangle that's going on between Ushio, Mayuko, and Asako really comes to the forefront in this episode. And I especially love how they introduced to this concept because we finally get a reunion between Asako and Ushio at the very beginning of the episode. Very stereotypical in a sense that they're both walking down a street, the cherry blossoms are blowing all over the place, and it's a real nice scene. But instantly, just right there, something snaps in Asako and she actually doesn't even know who Ushio is. She's completely freaked out by him, ends up decking him in the face a couple of times because she basically just thinks he's a pervert. And luckily, for some reason, Tora himself is not affected by any of this, and the build-up to seeing Tora in this episode was astronomical. You don't even see him until like 10 minutes in the episode, but it feels like forever. You're just totally waiting for him to show up and say the same old shit that he always says, which is, I like hamburgers, but you know what? I'd rather eat you, Ushio. That's basically their whole dynamic right there. And so, throughout the course of this episode, they're trying to figure out how they can get everybody's memories back and how they can sort of like build this brand new big demon army to go up against the Hakumen no Mono. All of which is teased in the brand new intro of the show, which I think is a little spoilerific for those who don't read the manga, they definitely let you know what's going to be going on in this arc. Let me talk about the intro for a second, which was actually really cool. What I think I loved most about it is that you get to see all of these demons who look very much like Tora, mostly just superficially, like they have the long hair, they have the very similar eyes and markings on their face, except that there's like a thousand of these things. Like, it's almost like there's a lot of clones of Tora. Either it's his extended family or the Hakumen no Mono has found a way to sort of like create his very own darker versions of Tora to fight against him and Ushio. I'm going to lean more towards the latter. That's probably what is going to be happening. And it looks like it's going to be really exciting. We also get to see the return of Kirio and Queen in this week's episode, who end up teaming up with Ushio and Tora. Again, just like the other characters, they don't know who Ushio and Tora is. Their memories are gone. The good thing is they decide not to fight back against them, and they actually decide to team up with Ushio and Tora. And by this part of the episode, you're just exhausted, because you're just like, oh. Man, everything ended in the last episode so nicely, and as soon as they pick up with this season, everything is just going completely to shit. And they're going to have to get some big help. There's that one girl, Saya, who could put up the barriers, who they managed to run into again, protecting themselves from the evil demons, which is causing everyone's memories to lose. And then you have that one time-traveling demon who's trying to help them out. Supposedly, he knows the secret answer to figuring all this shit out. Not to mention, he's seen this creepy vision of the Beast Sphere actually being destroyed. So, there's a lot to take in in this episode, and yet at the end of the day, it's still a very simple setup. But at the end of the day, really, this is just a reintroduction to Ushio and Tora, who the characters are, the world they live in, and some of the new villains who are going to be appearing. So, what's the rundown on this week's episode of Ushio and Tora? It is back, my friends, and if you like the old season, you're gonna like this one right here. It's pretty much identical in just about every single sense. Same art style, same animation, same teams working on it, all the voice actors have returned and they are not skipping a beat and honestly that's the way I want to see it. It also seems like this season is going to be a little more serious in some of the stuff that they are going to be trying and doing especially just how it actually all opened up. 
And aside from the uh, opening, like I said, I also liked the ending a lot. Again, very much like the intro, very spoilerific in some of the things that it's actually teasing what's going to be happening later in the series. But if you just take it for what it is, it's just really cool looking imagery, you're definitely going to enjoy it. Don't worry about the spoilers. There's going to be a lot of story beats, which I think are going to be even more important than just the imagery itself. And at the end of the day, the imagery is what makes this series. It's so unique looking and it's a time capsule of an anime series. Despite the fact that it's 2016, this looks like something that I would have probably watched in the early 90s. And I think that's definitely one of the strongest elements of Ushio and Tora. It feels like a 90s anime. It follows all of those beats as well. Not to mention, I just love the humor of this series. How it can go from being instantly intense to just being really ridiculous and goofy. And most of that does come from Tora and his crazy expressions, who I definitely feel is the star of the series. He's definitely one of the most expressive anime characters that I've ever seen, and he's always a joy to watch. So, my recommendation is, if you liked the first season of Ushio and Tora, continue to watch the second season. It's going to continue the story, it's going to make the characters grow as we get even closer to the finale. To my knowledge, the second season of Ushio and Tora is supposed to be shorter than the first. I think it's only supposed to be about 13 episodes, so they have a lot of things to wrap up in a short amount of time, and I really hope that they're going to be able to pull that off. I've been told by you guys, actually, that a large chunk of the manga series was actually cut out from the very first season, and I was told that that's the type of stuff that even if you didn't read it, it really won't matter. It's basically just like the whole yokai of the week, where they go after a ghost or a demon and they destroy it, and then that's really the end of the story. It has no, like, real overall bearing on, like, the whole Hakumen no Mono story, although it makes me want to read the manga version, and I really hope that this one is going to be able to tell the most important parts of the story as well, and uh, hopefully they won't change too much from the manga, although I'm pretty hopeful. What I will say is this was another fun episode of Ushio and Tora, just like the old days. Not a perfect episode, I thought the pacing was a tad slow. That being said, it was another entertaining episode of Ushio and Tora. So I'm going to give this one right here a 4 out of five, check it out, Ushio and Tora fans. You'll definitely see something you like. But if any of you guys watched this week's episode, I would love to hear your thoughts about it, and you can tell me in the comment section below. Are you excited for the return of Ushio and Tora? How are they going to destroy these demons which are eating everyone's memories? And what do you want to see from the final season of Ushio and Tora? Make sure to tell me in the comment section below. You guys are freaking awesome. Thank you for watching this video. I really appreciate it. Make sure to share it with all of your friends. And if you would like to, please subscribe to the channel. That way you'll be able to see all of our latest anime and manga reviews. You guys can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter and all that social media stuff. It'll all be in the description box below. Thank you guys again for watching. And as always, stay dandy, baby.